I have rackets, June, book up. Chapter 5 Self Inflicted Traitor Torture. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> Well, I have been trying to come up with a method to shorten the length of my Dune Book Club videos. And one idea I had was to do them when my breath is a more limited resource. And uh, to do it without the book at hand. So, here we go. In this chapter, Paul and Dr. Wellington Yui, the soup doctor of the Atreides household, have a short discussion about Arrakis. And Dr. Wellington Yui gives Paul a small uh, present. Yeah, that should be enough, right? Why do I stand here torturing myself and torturing this poor lad, though he does not know it? Okay, what's notable about this chapter? Mm, aside from the facts that we get about the Fremen and um, the inhabitants of the cities and that they intermarry and, um, and of course the sandworms, um, spoiler alert, there are quite a few worm signs um, in this chapter. Well, what's interesting is um, um, the orange Catholic Bible that uh, Dr. Yui um, gives Paul as a gift. Mm. It's not a film book. Um, the film books uh, in and of themselves are also interesting. Uh, you know, the world of Dune uh, functions without computers and uh, things like that. So those film books are, I imagine, something like um, a microfilm in, in real life. Um, but this uh, Orange Catholic Bible is an um, example of an older technology. It is not a film book and it is uh, printed on filament and um, uh, it seems to work with electrical charges. Um, the pages, if you will, are very thin and there's a magnifying device integrated into it. So it's a nice little small object that you can take, uh, take with you and um, read at your leisure. So. That's uh, interesting. It feels like uh, um, clockwork punk vibes um, somehow, um, although there are no clockworks involved, I think. Yeah, and um, another huge topic of this chapter is, uh, of course, the fact that uh, Dr. Yui is the infamous traitor, the Judas figure of Dune, of the religion that will uh, develop around Paul. Um, yeah, and of course, uh, the concept of a traitor is uh, almost uh, universal in in fiction and also in science fiction, of course. And um, the one that first comes to mind and is most dear to me is, of course, Stanley H. Tweedle, the arch traitor, uh, who got a uh, 100 reformed planets destroyed. Although no, 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 it were only. Uh, 94 reformed planets. Uh, yeah, and um, there's um, quite a few examples of traitors in science fiction. I think in uh, Battlestar Galactica, the, um, there's a very famous one, uh, Balta or something, who works with the Cylons. Um, and in Warhammer, there are um, all those traitor. Yeah, I guess it's still legions and not chapters of the chaos influenced space marines um yeah and <laughs> traitors very common also in science fiction and the third thing um there's the fact that dr wellington yui is a souk doctor and they are conditioned um to never harm their patients uh, um, something like uh, the uh, hippocratic oath uh, turn to 11 and it's a bit weird that he's so easily uh, uh, his uh, conditioning is so easily broken by the Harkonnens. Um, although he basically knows that his wife Banner is basically uh, almost certainly dead, 
And if not, the only thing he can do is um, shorten her suffering. Um, but he still uh, does what the Baron um, orders him to do. And he's very um, conflicted about it. He hates the Baron and uh, loves the Atreides, basically. And I find it kind of weird that the conditioning is broken so easily um, just by being in love. Uh, I think uh, being in love um, is quite common for human beings. Uh, so I would imagine that the conditioning of those soup doctors had been uh, broken more often and would not be taken for granted um, to be unbreakable. But, uh, you know, his wife Vanna is also a Bene Gesserit. So I think it's possible that she herself had some kind of Uh, has performed some kind of conditioning on her husband as well. That does not exclude the possibility that she genuinely loves her husband, um, but it could be both a love and conditioning that um, makes it more important for Dr. Yui to try to save his wife or avenge his wife at least than to stick to his conditioning and be loyal to his um, employers his patient uh, either that or they are really 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 in love uh, or um, Dr. Yui is I guess Vanna uh, I think is also I'm not sure if how it's handled in the prequel novels but I will not look into that yeah yeah and I think from other memory um, not really much as I mentioned the concept of, of a traitor is um, almost omnipresent in fiction so yeah going back to bible and yeah even before i guess so yeah do we have any special abilities titles etc for paul hmm, not really the only thing that dr yui mentioned is mentions is that his fingers are more sensitive than his but uh, that's uh, not really remarkable i guess Paul is younger, um, younger, and yeah, it doesn't seem really supernatural. <laughs> so that will not be added to the list. But in the next chapter, there will be some quite significant things, or at least one. So yes, um, we shall go on with chapter six in the next episode of the Dune Book Club. So far, so good. And bye.